while AAA games with ultra realistic graphics run at smooth 60 FPS on my PC, it's beautiful. Somehow, Minecraft with its pixelated blocks manages to lag even on an NASA computer, but why? Let's be real, Minecraft is the worst optimized game humanity has ever created. Seriously, a game that's been out for over 10 freaking blood years still struggles to run even on a high-end PCs, but why? The first and the biggest reason, Minecraft only uses one CPU core. Yeah, you could have a Ryzen 9 with a ridiculous 16 threads or an Intel i9 that costs more than your rent, but the game will still max out a single core and ignore the rest. Nah, I don't like you, I will use only one CPU core. You like it or no, I don't care. <laughs> Back in 2009-2010, when Notch was developing Minecraft, multi-core processors existed, but they weren't widely used, so the whole game was coded for a single powerful thread, and that ancient code is still haunting us today. Ugh, blad, that sucks. The second reason, Minecraft runs on Java, and while Java technically supports multi-threading, actually making it work properly is a nightmare, especially in an old code base that keeps getting patched over and over. Imagine, someone builds a house, but they do the absolute worst job possible. No foundation, crooked walls and everything is barely holding together. Now instead of tearing it down and building a proper house, they just slap on some wooden beams, duct tape a few cracks and pray it doesn't collapse. That's exactly what's happening with Minecraft's code. It's held together with duct tape and hope. And rewriting it from scratch would take forever. So instead of fixing the actual problem, Mojang just keep stacking more and more quick fixes on top. And what do we get as a result? Instead of properly using your PC's power, Minecraft just grabs one CPU core, chokes it to death and walks off into the sunset, leaving you with a laggy mess. <laughs> and you just wanna see more FPS, I get it. Those random freeze, they suck. And yeah, it would be nice if Minecraft actually runs smoothly for once. But don't worry my friend, humans are smart creatures and we are also humans. And we've already found a solution to this mess. Ever heard of something called Optifine? I bet you have. Everyone and even their grandma knows about Optifine. And everyone is still using it. So what is Optifine? Well, to put it simply, it's a more that optimizes Minecraft. How does it do that? I have no freaking clue, my friend. I am stupid as hell. I am not a programmer. All I know is that it makes the game run better somehow, and for years it's been the go-to fix for lag. But here's one thing. Optifine is old news. It's not the best option anymore. Sodium. Yes, Sodium. A new mod built for Fabric, and let me tell you, it does its job insanely well. And get this, if you set up the right mods, make some proper settings, slap on some shaders, you can actually make Minecraft look like this. Yeah, you heard me, this. But before, let's take a look at how Minecraft runs with no mods at all. Alright, so let's see what happens when we run Minecraft on its untouched vanilla form. I downloaded the latest version, fired it up and yeah. Unfortunately, no surprises here, the performance is awful. Stutters, lag spikes and the frames dropping like my motivation on a Monday morning. Guys, I don't wanna go to college on Monday, please help me. Now let's see what happens if we crank everything down to the lowest settings. Boom, suddenly we've got decent FPS. But at what cost? The game looks absolutely disgusting, Yopta. What the heck is that? It's like Minecraft turned into a 90s horror game. Anyway, don't be upset, my fellow lag sufferers, because we have sodium. This little guy, combined with Iris, can actually make Minecraft run like a modern game. So I installed sodium, tweaked the settings a little, and boom, FPS went way up and the best part, unlike Optifine, Sodium doesn't just throw duct tape on the problem, it actually reworks how the game handles rendering. Ok guys, we fixed performance, now let's talk about visuals, because let's be honest, Minecraft without shaders just feels lifeless. So I tested some shader packs that won't completely kill your FPS, good news right? And let me tell you, they look insanely good. Guys, did you know that back in the day before I had a proper PC, I was stuck with a weak ass 
ass laptop and guess what minecraft for some dumb reason decided to run entirely on my cpu instead of using the actual gpu yeah this is a super common issue for laptop users i spent ages trying to fix this and honestly i don't even remember how i did it wait no i lied i do remember it turns out i had to dive into my laptop settings mess around with the graphics options and manually set minecraft to use my freaking gpu oh and i also had to go into the app settings itself and set the gpu priority there too <laughs> but for some reason it doesn't always work like even if you do everything right minecraft sometimes just goes nah i'm good and keeps running the cpu anyway all right listen up guys i just want to make it clear how weak my laptop actually was just imagine this i was rocking a gt710 yeah you heard me gt710 and not just any gt710 the laptop version absolute nightmare and the cpu some random ass i3 i don't even remember the exact gen it was three or four but trust me guys it was garbage an absolute garbage and you wanna hear the worst parts i only had four gigs of ram four blat gigs this thing was struggling to exist but here's why i'm telling you this even on that weak ass laptop i was able to run shaders yeah all the shader packs i showed you today they still worked so if you don't believe me go test them yourself they will run just fine for our whole optimization topic the shaders are perfect okay if you want minecraft to stop lagging here's exactly what you need to do first of all you gotta install fabric once you've got fabric set up you're gonna need this mods fabric api indium iris and sodium and if you want an easy way to check which mods you've installed i also recommend mod menu that's pretty much it if you install all these mods plus the shaders i showed you today or any other shaders that you find yourself you can seriously optimize minecraft and make it run absolutely amazing yeah if the guys at mojang actually work just one more hour maybe just maybe minecraft would look something like this but what if your pc is actually good what if you want to push minecraft to absolute limits well my friends let me introduce you distant horizons mod this mod basically removes minecraft's render distance limitations and lets you see insanely far like you can actually see full mountains from thousands of blocks away it's like turning minecraft into a movie so yeah at the end of the day you've got two choices you either suffer with vanilla minecraft slack and live in pain or you install these mods and actually enjoy the game or if you are lazy ass and don't want to deal with mods you could just play bedrock edition yes bug rock but hey that's a whole different kind of suffering yeah Я люблю Майнкрафт, я люблю Майнкрафт, я люблю Майнкрафт, я люблю Майнкрафт. Я я люблю Майнкрафт. Эй. Майнкрафт лучше, чем вы все вместе. Майнкрафт прав всех у вас здесь я самый лучший Майнкрафтер лучше, чем топовые Майнкрафтеры. Жопа вам. Я играю, я строю. Дом из алмазов делит всю на лошадей, что я сказал, я не знаю, почему ты так плохо играешь, а ты знаешь, ты 